morning and welcome to Magic News. Roe v. Wade, January the 6th, Rwanda, Grooming Gangs, Ghislaine Maxwell, Julian Assange, Justice Kavanaugh, Tim Poole gets swatted, Johnny Depp and Emhead. Ah, this appears to be one of those clip shows of old footage that they put out at the end of the season because they can't think of any new ideas. Oh, well, it wouldn't be the first time we've found ourselves trapped in a never-ending time loop. Or the last time. However any of that technically works. Let's plough on through this like the troopers we are. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Where's the flag? Where's the fl Who forgot to put the flag up? Do you want to get swatted? Because this is how you get swatted. See? All right, let's start over. Our, our top story tonight. Justice Clarence Thomas, pictured here, is not content with raping one woman or however uh, 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 many he already had has proceeded to rape every woman in America at, at the point of, of a concealed gun every woman will be forced to wear red robes which cover every part of their body except of course their feet which will be bare and shackled to the kitchen sink uh, every aspect of the handmaid's tale is now coming harrowingly true except the part about the mass sterilization that, that set everything in motion that's that's not that can never happen for any mysterious reason and if it does it's trump's fault it was him who, who who shut down the security and told the police to step down and then manhandled a vehicle and and then and, and crashed it into the twin towers then he killed the head of capital security who was also not dead mostly true Anyway, the, uh, the Supreme Court of the United States, led by an angry black man and a bossy woman, yes, we are allowed to say that until further notice, has effectively torn up the Constitution, uh, especially that, that most prominent section that definitely mentions abortion. Uh, and, 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 and this uh, scotus of extremists is no longer allowing the states to make their own laws. After 50 years of keeping the federal government's nose out of everyone's business, they are now ex instead dictating what everyone is not allowed to do. This picture is the right way up. Riots have since broken out all over the... C Peaceful protests have, si have, have not broken out all over the country. The only person rioting is Justice Kavanaugh. Pictured here. Not content with attempted murder, the, uh, he, he, is, he is intimidated Californian, Californian freedom fighters into, into travelling all the way to Maryland to, to engage in self-defence and has not been arrested for his hate speech or, uh, and his criminal incitement. Nothing is being done about this. Uh, in their hour of need, we have once again seen the complete abandonment of the needs and the human rights and the identities of birthing persons. Omnipresent and non-human superhero Ezra Miller, pictured here, has taken it upon, upon herself to personally avenge all of the gay and transsexual people affected uh, in this overturning. First seen at large in the Louvre Art Gallery in Paris, Miller allegedly exposed himself to the Mona Lisa while shouting something along the lines of when your powers combine and was spotted the next day in Iceland hurling some kind of creamy projectile onto a plaster reproduction of Jimi Hendrix's penis. <laughs> a lot of these are going to be funnier years from now. When no one understands the context. They'll just assume I'm making up a bunch of random pop culture references for the sake of surrealism or whatever. Yeah, no, the, <laughs> these were actually subjects that appeared in the news this month. All I've done is jumble them up a bit. Something, something, vagina serial. Anyway. In other news, Ghislaine Maxwell, pictured here, has officially become suicidal but has not been put on suicide watch. In some kind of bizarre and unpredictable oversight, she has been left 
in an ordinary prison cell with robust light fixtures, uh, a selection of sturdy extension cables, a generously tall bucket with a high center of gravity, and a standard issue sure enough, sort of shotgun for good measure. Oh well, can't be helped, said a prison warden in the Federal Correctional Institution at Danbury, Connecticut. But not to worry, we'll be sure to keep her under 24-hour surveillance. And now the weather. A freak electric storm is forecast to take place in Danbury, Connecticut on an undisclosed date in the next few days. <laughs> it may or may not fall on the same day. Our staff come down with an unexpected illness, end quote, more at 10. <sighs> what else? Amber Heard? No. No. Just no. Sick of your face. We're sick of your voice. Just pay the man and fuck off, please. We have we have a Me Too narrative to uphold, and you're really not helping. Don't let the door stick you up your fanny on the way out, and don't step on a bee. Our final story tonight. UK Home Secretary Pretty Patel, pictured here, has decided in a revelatory twist of events. You know what? We can't get rid of the groomers, so it would be a lot easier if we just sent their victims to Rwanda. We tried deporting illegal immigrants to Rwanda, and the EU just stamped them all with return to sender before they could even arrive, so there's no chance they're going to sign for the organised crime gang of rapists. It's time for a compromise. Let's just take whichever... 50 to 100 children have been gang spit roasted in the past week. Bundle them onto a charter flight to Kigali and we'll never have to hear about the controversy ever again. And we'll maintain that enriching diversity that gives us our strength. No, you idiot, replied a Rwandan representative. Why do you think we signed up for the illegal immigrants and economic tourists in the first place? Because those are all fighting age men. And we need fighting age men, on account of most of us were genocided 30 years ago, remember? Those things are mostly prepubescent girls and irreversibly emasculated prepubescent boys. What the hell are we supposed to do with those? No, return to sender stamp. Tell you what, you, 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 we, we could do with a few investigative journalists. You got any of them? No. We just sold our last one. Uh... Do you want some professional football players? We got loads of those we're not using anymore. Fuck off, Patel. We're not falling for that. We've got enough problems with AIDS as it is. God. 